We are at the Colorado Rocky Mountain School in Carbondale, Colorado for the 2018 Rocky Mountain Blacksmithing Conference. It's still early in the morning. The coffee hasn't finished brewing yet. But Peter Ross is in the shop getting ready for his demonstration. He's going to start us off this morning talking about 18th century ironwork. So it should be a great demonstration. We won't show you the whole thing because uh, you need to pay to come to the conference if you want to see the whole demo, but I'll show you a few clips of it as we go on and give you a little taste of what we're doing here at the conference. So, I hope you enjoy it. A couple of announcements. you got to be wearing safety glasses if you're in the shop, especially during the demonstrations. If you need a pair, we have some over here on that table, and we have your protection there if you need it. Uh, please don't park on the road. It's, uh, fire right away there, fire truck right away. Um, what else? Uh, I've got the gallery is in the barn. I've got coming out. The gallery is in the barn. Go over there and check it out. He brought some work, put it in there. Uh, we have iron in the half tickets. Evan Blackstock here to sell them tickets. Buy tickets, buy more tickets, buy them often. We're starting out this morning with uh, a man who's a good friend of ours, Peter Ross. He hails from Cider City, North Carolina. He's the master blacksmith at Gloria Williamsburg for many years. He is, if, he is one of, if not the guy to go to to learn about colonial work, 18th century ironwork. And we're, uh, we're so happy to have him back again. Please join me in welcoming Peter Ross. So, and I, I had, when I made this one, I had a drawing that was full size. So I didn't bring that with me, so we'll just pretend this is the drawing. And we'll work from this. So, I, I'm going to make this corner help. I have to start from somewhere. And uh, for this case, I usually, I start from one point and I work my way around the elf. So I can start from here and work my way around, or I can start from here and work my way around the other way. So I'm going to start from here and work my way out. And I don't know, I think you can probably do either one. This one, Starting from the center and working out, there's almost there's no waste. You don't have anything left over to cut off and throw away. And the other valuable part of uh, of this method that I'm going to use is that there's no mathematical calculation. I don't have to. So. If I started from here, if I have half inch by three eighths material, how much longer is that going to get by the time I get to here and I have eighth inch by half inch material? Plus I'm welding things on in different places, plus I'm punching holes. And if you can estimate how all of those things are going to determine your stock usage, that's great. But I, the method I'm going to use don't need any sort of free calculus out. So Peter, on that long line that you described earlier, you're going to do it in several sections of weld them? Yeah. Where, where does your eye tell you you should be doing those welds? Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. It, it, the, I mean, I know I have to make a weld here. Uh, it, it's not the, um, let me see here, I'm say it. There are some places that are, that are by the virtue of the process, make it easy to do the well, to join to the next section. It has nothing to do with the design. So, yeah. so I almost 
start rolling over the snow. We get this to roll nice and tight.
prefer doing the smoothing than uh, just straight.
around the back. There's a whole stretch of Well, I'm going to show you how to show the hole is stretching. I should have punched the four hole.
my hero. That's just a little taste of what you might expect if you attend a blacksmithing conference. Peter's demo was fantastic, but it's about four hours overall and he still has a few hours to go later. So if you really want to see all of something like that, you really need to attend your local conferences, workshops, demonstrations, commit to a long-term vacation if you need to and travel to go to something like this. They're a lot of fun, really educational, and we're going to show you some more stuff as the conference goes on. But since people pay to be here, I'm not going to videotape the entire thing and give you the benefit of what everybody else has paid for. So this is just a teaser. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can get out to your shop, make something, do stay safe, do wear your safety glasses. We'll talk to you later.